plane. He didn't want to get shot down by those planes. He didn't want to get bombed, did he? Okay, you think we got another bomb drop coming up? Here we go. Too much fun with our model aircraft. Look at, it, look at the smoke ring, see it? You can go to a lot of model shows around the country, you'll never see a show like you see at Warbirds Over the Rockies. And uh, all the uh, structure has is a hollow tube into the ear set of the student, and the student couldn't respond, he just had to listen. This is the Army version painted up in the Blue fuselage, yellow wing, the Army Air Corps version. Now, Iger Weigert on the blue one, and Scott Davis from Utah on the yellow one. They have smoke on, so they're just going to give us some great aerial ballets with smoke. Now, once a pilot... Uh, was able to get through the ground school and uh, flight training in the Stearman and also use aircraft such as the N3M and the PT-19. They would advance into the T-6, two-seat trainer formerly called, formerly referred to as the Texan. And does anybody know why they called that airplane the Texan? The largest number of the North American T-6s were manufactured in Texas. And they moved up into the P-51 at 135, 40 pounds, 5 foot 4, at 18 years of age. And they went to battle. Here comes a low speed, low, low pass. Now for a little grandstanding. Dino DiGiorgio on the C-47 and Jason Knowles on the Aeroworks. What? We're going a little bit. They're flying a good formation here, aren't they? And a lava check, LA-7 Russian fighter with one gear, not cooperating. It looks like he did, did a real good job getting it back to the field. Nice day. Finesse, very important. Look how close these two uh, gentlemen work together. Two different pilots standing about 40 feet apart. Now there is a photo opportunity for you. Also the owner of Meister Scale, they manufacture some really precision scale big aircraft kits. Look at this job. Both engines quit. I think he just ran out of fuel. How's that for timing? Dino to Georgia with a C-47. Wow. Wow. 